Hey, what's up guys? I'm Bright Torn and welcome back to Prison Simulator. Alright, so I went ahead and did our free time, just played some darts real quick. And we're going to be starting out today's episode by leveling up. Because uh, we have one experience point, we did hit level 9. And we've got the money as well. I think we have like 400 something, 500 something bucks. So doing pretty well on money. Uh, we could do the Eagle Eye, but we'd have to go get this one first. I don't really think that's necessary. These are pretty easy to check. Uh, I guess it makes it quicker. Uh, but I think we're just going to move to the to the trust one. This is $200. We don't really need the trust, but if we want to be able to continue on down this branch, then we'll have to get that. Uh, there's also the passive options. I don't really feel like any of these are exactly necessary. I, I suppose having faster speed would be nice. But combat's been pretty easy. And almost all of these are about combat, are going to help you in combat, with the exception of maybe stamina, because that also helps with the sprinting. Now we're just going to move along this one, the active branches. Uh, so we'll buy the trust one, and so that'll allow us to get the funny feeling level 2, which I, I believe we do have level 1, yeah, you had to get level 1. The authority, and then the negotiator. Uh, so wouldn't care about these ones, uh, this one here, but these two would be useful, I suppose. Yeah, these two would be useful. All right, so the other thing I wanted to do was there was a guy who had a quest in here. Here he is. He was hiding from us. Let's see what Matt Miller's quest is. He says, want to get some money? Depends on what you want. He said he wants to see David Johnson lying with a smashed face. Okay, um, how much are you paying? 25 down, 25 when it's done. Yeah, you know, I'm not really, I'm not really wanting to bash inmates in. Yeah, I'll just say we're not interested in, in it here. I mean, money's really not that big of an issue now. You know, playing darts, we've found a pretty good way of making money uh, with those $50 bets. So let's go ahead and uh, try and spend some of our prison money here because we actually have quite a bit of it right now. Now, I know that we might have unlocked a few things here. Yeah, we can get chairs. I don't know if that was available before. Uh, the barbells could also be added. Increasing prisoner and guard respect for $500. However, somebody told me that if you change the skins of the toilets, then that will also increase respect. So I'm interested to see if that's true or not. Uh, so let's just take a look at what our respect is at with the inmates. It's 39.4%. So let's see if changing the skins does increase respect. Because I thought it didn't do anything. And uh, frankly, yeah, it does if you just click on it. Look at that. That is a huge jump in respect. This seems like the best way to get respect, actually. Yeah, uh, so you can get like 7% over here. I mean, this is tremendous, like 7% for the turquoise ones. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaning on that one then, since it's an extra 2%, though you are paying double the price for that, for that extra 2%. So it's really probably just better to get the black one here. Yeah, I guess we'll just go with the uh, the black one. I think this is probably the best use of our, our money. So yeah, we'll get the black one so that the toilets will at least be better. And then let's see if it's true with the sinks as well. Yeah, we can get 3% respect there. Uh, I can't afford this one, so I can't even look at it. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and do these as well. Uh, so this will increase respect by quite a bit. Uh, we spent a majority of our money. I don't think we have money for air. Yeah, we're just short. To get anything else we can get that soon so now we got an m8 respect up to 47.4 percent that's not bad that's pretty good uh so now we need to clean again all these blood stains and stuff i don't know what happened here yeah we'll get this all cleaned up and then see uh what our next task is i want to say that's the end of the day so we should be able to see like how much the riot risk has decreased now that we spent so much money. It does seem that's going to be the primary way for us to increase inmate respect is simply by buying them stuff. You know, you don't have to to go and give them everything they want, as the game seems to indicate. That the only way to have decent respect... Oh, it's on the canteen. I was thinking it was the briefing room. You can go this way as well, I suppose. But yeah, it kind of indicated almost like the only way to get any kind of respect is if we basically are constantly, you know, just letting the inmates do whatever they want. That definitely is not the case. Keep calm and clean me up. 
All right, so we'll get this cleaned here. Is there anything else? Yeah. Again, the fact that we're cleaning up after these inmates is, is one of the things I find to be the most inaccurate about this game. Why aren't there no inmates around cleaning this stuff up? Like, they're, they get treated like children, I suppose, is the thing that I, I would complain the most about when it comes to the accuracy. It's, you know, these are grown men. And in a prison, while well, you know, they certainly lose some of their rights, or a lot of their rights, I suppose, you know, they, they're still treated like grown adults. They can clean up after themselves. They're held to certain expectations. But in this game, it's like it, we're all treated like they're children. And like we're their damn parent or something. So I'd say that'd be one of my complaints about the game. I feel like inmates can do all this cleaning now. I know they're trying to find stuff for you to do. I mean, like, we're even cleaning their cells up. Like, are you serious? That's like the bare minimum an inmate should be required to do is keep his own cell cleaned, right? Oh man, this place is disgustingly filthy. I don't know, somebody painted something or if this is blood. Yeah, I feel like that's the, the bare minimum the inmates should be doing is clean up their cells. And we're even doing that for them. But yeah, I know they're trying to give gameplay or find ways to do gameplay, but I just feel like there's better ways to do this than to have uh, the officer cleaning everything up for him. I mean, you could like have uh, an inmate cleaning and the officer's like escorting them or whatever, and telling them what to clean or something. I don't know. I don't know the exact game mechanics. I'm not a game developer, but I just feel like there's better ways that this could have been done. And we're even cleaning their cells up. You know? Like they wrote this all over. They should be the ones that have to clean it up. But again, they're just not held to any kind of responsibility. Just strange. Because they're supposed to be trying to uh, get these inmates ready to go back into the world because most of them aren't going to stay in prison their whole lives. Now, the reason why we, of course, lost so much money is because we spent so much money on, you know, during this task. So we didn't actually lose money from the task. Uh, now we got to finish the day and we'll get to see what the riot risk has gone down to. Overall, should have dropped quite a bit with the inmate respect going up by what, like 10% or something like that, or almost 10%. Yep, day is over. Uh, 3%. All right, so negative 3%. With the prisoner respect going up by plus 9%. All right, that's not horrible. So we'll be a little less likely to see those rides again, uh, which, you know, I didn't really find to be unfun playing them. I suppose it was a nice change of haste, but at the same time, I didn't like the uh, the complete lack of like any consequences from having a riot. So it's basically the the twin of Pierre, Paul Pierre, Mason Moore. Yeah, he's got the same skin as him, and so now I'm always going to confuse Mason for him. He's aggressive. He hates Charles Wilson. He's here for stealing. A purebred dog. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and check the prisoner's papers first. Just make sure everything is on the up and up. Uh, the fingerprints seem to be good here. The name is good. Just make sure the number is. Yeah, this seems to be fine. Yeah, not seeing any issues here with this. So let's go ahead and stamp it. He's going to block B. There we go. And he's bringing joints pills so like pills for his joints yeah so let's go and open up make sure there's no contraband in there yeah we seem to be good to go nothing in the top all right so that's all his items let's go ahead and search him make sure he's not trying to bring anything else in and then give him his uh welcome to prison box and there we go so knock that task out uh pretty easily pretty quickly and I didn't look at what the rest of the day is going to look like. Oh, we didn't get anything for completing that task. We didn't get paid. It's kind of strange. Uh, back on free time. Then we're going to do the, the check-in attendance, so the, the count time. Back on free time, checking the parcels, free time, and the shower time. So nothing new today, guys. It's a regular old day here. Uh, unless something happens with the story, uh, which is a real possibility. As far as what we're going to do, I guess we'll run the package and increase our speed. Yeah, we'll do that. Our speed is at plus three right now. Stamina is plus five. Strength plus one. Defense plus two. You can also increase the defense by doing the, the fighting over there, I suppose. But yeah, we'll do the, the speed here. Yeah, give me something. 
All right, so we got one minute to deliver two packages. Looks like the one's about 30 meters further than the other. Uh, this one's in the workshop. It seems like they're almost always in the workshop, aren't they? It's over here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, here it is. I guess it's always the same guy over here, isn't it? All right, so that's one. We got 40 seconds now, which is the other one. Might be all the way down on the, the cell block, yeah. Here's a, it's in our little high security area here, and we are exhausted. So yeah, it was pretty easy. It seems like you have plenty of time when you're uh, uh, when you're delivering two packages. Seems like they give you quite a bit of time. Actually, I'm going the wrong way here, and I we need to go to the cell block to do the to do the count. Now this guy has a mission for us. I guess we can ask him uh, what he wants done. It seems like it's always something crooked though. We'll say what's up. He said I lost a book, I suppose. Could you find it for me? I'll give you 50 bucks. Um, I mean, yeah, if I find it. We'll bring on the book. Yeah, stuff like that I can do. That seems like a reasonable request. So we're gonna just peek around and see if we can't find the book anywhere. Somebody really likes donuts. Yeah, I don't see the book anywhere in here. So yeah, I don't know where, where we'll find it. Oh, man, we got a fire already. Guess we'll put it out. I assume there's gonna be a fight behind us or something. Come on. Almost out. I don't know what's going on behind us. There's other correction officers to take care of it, but of course they're probably not. Did everybody just line up? Nope. I was about to say, we had a nice easy count here, but apparently not. <laughs> All right, so we'll take him down and then we'll give him the cell The cell restrictions as we always do Oops, nope, I'm Not trying to talk to you All right, so let's give him the cell restrictions and There's another fight going on We can't get through count with at least a couple fights happening. I almost don't even want to protect Paul, but you know, it's our job I don't get to Choose who we're gonna protect and who we're not. So I'll knock him out and give him the cell restrictions as well. These guys never learn. All right, so no leaving the cell. There we go. All right, so let's see if we can't get this damn countdown. Nope. Now Praetorian wants to go and start fighting somebody. He hates David Johnson. Uh, but this is Charles Shepard, so this is just a gang fight. Knock him out. And then give him cell restrictions too. There ain't gonna be nobody allowed out of the cell uh, by the end of this count. I will be okay with that, I suppose. You know, I had talked about you know the different reasons to do cell searches. Oh, we got another fight over here. Good God, this is ridiculous, man. This is another element that I feel like the game could do better on. It's just ridiculous. Like, uh, can't even get through a count without having three fights. And you'd think that, like, if you weren't punishing the inmates for the fights, then that might, you know, oh, Daniel's already been punished. This is the second fight that he started in this count. But you think if they, they weren't being punished, then yeah, maybe, maybe they'd keep fighting. But it's like they don't even learn their lesson, like they're not learning anything. Like, at least when this officer's on the pod, I'm not going to, to be doing any fighting because he's going to punish me. And we didn't count Mason more. Is that the guy over here? Oh, so he's already gone back in his cell? Oh, okay, so he's not assembled like he's supposed to be, so we need to talk to him. All right, roll call is mandatory for all prisoners. I'll have to insist. Do you prefer strong or weak arguments? Because what do you consider a weak argument? I don't have a punchline for that. I still have brute force left. He said, you know what? I'll leave myself, just shut up. Now we talked him into compliance, apparently. And you know, again, I mentioned this before, but this is something I'm really glad that they do represent is what what we called uh, verbal judo, Ver verbal judo. Excuse me. Did we count Paul? We did. We gotta get this guy out of the cell as well. But yeah, like you, you use your words. So we can let him keep writing. But yeah, I feel like he needs to come out for count. Everybody has to come out for count, so. 
I don't know what would happen. Oops, let me click on him again. If you didn't uh, have him come out, like we could still count him in the cell. But yeah, I mean the rule applies to everybody. And Jim Lorson is not out. Uh, everybody's causing us problems in this damn roll call. You wouldn't know it that our respect actually increased by eight percent or whatever it was. It doesn't feel like we have any extra respect. All right, so now we got to beat him. It's the only option we had left, apparently. All right, you ready to come out for count, man? Jim. He looks kind of like a Jimbo, I suppose. I'd call him Jimbo. He doesn't look like a Jim to me. But a Jimbo. You go with that. Oh, good God, this has been the most difficult count ever. Um, but yeah, the uh, best way to get compliance from inmates is, you know, talking with them. Uh, it's not trying to force them, as in this game, is, is typically the main way that you get them to comply is by beating them. And that is not the way we do things in a real prison. That is not very effective, obviously, and who wants to go to work and, and have to fight inmates all day? We're going to look in here real quick for that guy's book. I don't know if it would be in here, but like inmate stole it and hid it here. Just figured we'd check everywhere we can. As we go around, maybe checking the showers and stuff, the bathroom. I don't know. We'll look around for it, though. It's 50 bucks. Though, again, with the, the dark game is, you know, you get 50 bucks for, for a dark game, and it takes far less time than it does to to do all this. I guess we'll look in the TV room. We've never been in here before. Oh, we can snatch some salty chips. Yeah, we'll take these chips here. Oh, you actually have a TV you can watch as well? Well, that's interesting. Yeah, we've never been in there. I'm surprised we haven't had to clean the TV room yet out of all the times we've done the cleaning. But yeah, the, the best way to, to get inmates to comply is to to talk to them. And, uh, you know, joking around and, and making light of a situation. A lot of times that can help get inmates to comply without escalating the situation. So we'll just check all these. I don't know how many times I've, I've used humor to kind of de-escalate a situation while I was working as a CO. So yeah, I'm glad they kind of have that represented a little bit. Not as much as it should be. You know, we typically turn to force whenever we can't get inmates to comply in this game. Which again, that's not the way we'd do it in real life. We're probably not gonna be able to check, find this damn book. It could be anywhere. And it doesn't help that there's books lying all over the place. None of them are it. Did the warden snatch his book? I think that the warden is the warden's only in here when we need to talk to him. I guess we'll look in here for the book too. But yeah, this is any upper rank, I suppose. Often only doing their job when they have to. Otherwise, they're not not around at all. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Uh, we'll look in the locker room and then the last location. But yeah, I think that's probably it. Uh, I'm not gonna look everywhere. We already looked most of the damn prison. I guess there's the visiting room. It's right here. Yeah, it could be anywhere, honestly. Uh, so, let's go and do our free time, and we're going to do the, the fighting and get our defense up, I think. Might as well. We do get hit quite often. Although it doesn't look like that's an option. Instead, they had the basketball one. So there is actually a basketball game. And we could try it, but we would probably just lose. We haven't done it yet, so I figured might as well before we end the series. Uh, we should try to to win I imagine we're gonna do pretty poorly so we'll just bet the lowest amount 10 bucks and we were timed on this can we shoot from anywhere it looks like we have to make <laughs> this is so difficult this is why I haven't done it yet it looks like we have to make five baskets that's not gonna happen I can tell you that right now we'll be lucky if I can even get one in this time limit it's just so difficult to get it to, to go in, in this game. Oh lord. Yeah, we're not even gonna make one. How embarrassing. I was only betted, uh, I only bet 10 bucks because I knew that this was gonna be disastrous. Yeah, we're like this close and we still can't get it. I mean, I imagine if you played it a lot, you could probably get like the, the exact amount of strength right for a location, and then you can just shoot from that location over and over again since it doesn't require you to be in different locations. 
Yeah, we're not even gonna make one of these. Like, can I just like drop it in? <laughs> no, I don't think that counted. So yeah, we lost 10 bucks. I figured we'd try though, try it out. Since it's one of the few games we haven't hadn't done yet. It might be the only thing we haven't done yet, actually. Yeah, I think we've done all the, the free time activities. Uh, so now we're doing parcel searching. All right, so we'll start going through these. I don't hear any ticking, so at least we don't have a bomb. That was another silly thing. Uh, like, that is not something that a correction officer would be doing, just trying to defuse a bomb. I mean, <laughs> that seems a little bit above our pay grade or our capabilities. The fact that that was our first answer to what to do there was very strange. It's another kind of strange element of the game. And of course, there's contraband in the books. Not this one, though. How I escaped from my prison. This seems like contraband. This is something you probably wouldn't want. Oh, okay. I see. It's not prison as we think. It's the story of a young man who was a prisoner of his own mind. How to defeat his own demons. Can you escape from yourself? So actually that would be an appropriate book. But yeah, I feel like that was way above our capabilities and pay grade. And just kind of strange, because I think you'd probably, in real life, you'd try and get out of the building. Maybe you'd take the bomb, try and get the bomb out of the building. Probably just try and evacuate and leave it there, honestly. Razor, bullet, uh, razor blade here. Now, they're actually allowed to have razor blades, in a way, because they, they do get, uh, you know, razors to shave with, because the inmates are required to shave. Now they're not supposed to take the razors out of the out of the razor, you know, but they do anyway, and they use it for all sorts of things. And that's when it becomes contraband is when they take it out. But I don't really think that's something that anybody would attempt to smuggle in here, since they can get access to razor blades. Somebody said you can open the top to this. Yeah, I don't think you can. I think you just need to look in here. But yeah, I don't think they'd be trying to smuggle a, a razor blade in, since they they can get access to that here. Yeah, sometimes these things really stick in. Uh, let's go ahead and secure it. If we needed joints, though, this would be a good way to get it because nobody's watching you. If you needed any kind of contraband, this would be a good way to get it. Oops, well, we're just ready to move to the next one. We haven't even put the box away yet. All right, so one more box remaining. Found a little bit of contraband today. I did take that joint, didn't I? Or did I leave it there? Well, it's too late now. I think I took it. All right, it's another book, and of course it has something in it. Seems like almost every time we find, have a book in here, there's something hidden inside of it. You would think, with as often as that happens, that we wouldn't allow people to ship books in here anymore. Yeah, it seems almost like we're not getting anything from completing these tasks. Like, we're not getting any money. Yeah, that's strange. I don't know if the money is actually going up, but yeah, why are we not getting paid for these tasks? That's really strange. All right, let's go ahead and do, I guess we'll just do the the darts. Yeah, we'll just do the darts here, guys. Although I did want to see if that one uh, defense training is out there. No, it's, oh, no, it is. All right, so we'll go ahead and do that then. Yeah, we'll do the defense training and uh, get a little bit of money on top of uh, increasing our, our defense. Again, they give you so much health that it's not really an issue. They called us a wimp. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna beat this guy up. And uh, I don't know if we can decide how much money we bet. I don't think so. You notice everybody ran away here. We got plus five to strength. It's quite a bit. Although I don't think that's like a plus five on the actual like number, like uh, number of, of little boxes we have filled out for that. I don't think that's how it works. Uh, because if it was, then our stamina would already be maxed out. So I think you have to get like a certain amount to get each of those little boxes filled in for your, your skills. Uh, shower time is the next and I think final task for the day. Yeah, kind of a, a boring day here, as most days working in a prison are. All right, so we're already timed, so let's go ahead and hurry up and get these to the, the aggressive inmates first. I guess we'll give it to him. He's neutral, but... Alright, so those will be the three inmates in the shower. And again, if we just kind of rush with this, we seem to have 
enough time to to get it done. Is it always twenty something seconds in the shower? I thought it was less, but yeah, it's probably the same amount as always. So this guy will be the the first one done. I don't know why he chose the second shower. Um, maybe the second shower is the one that gets the hottest or something. A lot of times you have certain showers that get hotter. It makes will prefer that one. They'll fight over it. All right, so let's go ahead and get this, get it dirty, and get the next person out here, which we didn't turn the music on. I don't know if you actually need to turn the music on or just having the radio is enough. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but... Uh, watch out for the extremely unhygienic prisoners. Their smell scares the others away. Get them a towel to wash off that stench as soon as possible. I don't think we've seen that before. Uh, so let's go ahead and hurry up and get this stinky inmate in there. It would be, of course, Paul. Paul's a stinky inmate. <laughs> I just find so many reasons to dislike this guy. I have a very acute sense of smell, probably because I got this big-ass nose. <laughs> but yeah, I got a fairly large nose. And I don't know if that's why I am so uh, capable of smelling. <laughs> But yeah, I noticed that throughout my life that people don't smell as, as well as I do. They don't notice the smells at least. So this guy's complaining about the other guy smelling when he smells too. They both smell. I'm over here wasting time. I'm gonna hurry up and get this towel from Bruce. Yeah, because we're uh, not really doing all that well on the time overall. Got another guy waiting over here. Yeah, I'm just not rushing enough. Uh, so, I mean, is everybody smelly? Jesus Christ. Yeah, everybody's smelly. Okay. Anybody waiting over here? Nope, they're all in right now. We're just waiting five seconds for this guy to get in. Yeah, apparently we haven't been showering these guys often enough because they'll stink. Maybe they all just came off the wreck yard. I don't know. All right, so we still got a lot of inmates left to shower in order to complete the objective here of uh, 12 total inmates. That's nine. We got two in right now, but yeah, overall. Yeah, this whole thing with Mason Moore looking like Paul is going to confuse me. Although I wonder if the back of his head is different. It almost seems different. I'm over here distracted. Unfortunately, showers can get clogged. By the end of the routine, you'll have to do with one less cabin. Oh, wow. Okay, so does that mean we can't, like, clean it? Yeah, it seems to be damaged, and thus we can't really clean it. So they are throwing a lot more, like, new... Uh, kind of mechanics into this. I don't know if this is stuff that has been added since we started the series or if it's just Something you don't start experiencing until later. Oh both of the showers are clogged Well, it looks like we've got the last inmate in the shower that needs to be showered. So uh, we'll be good to go and complete this uh, But can you fix it? It looks like you might be able to a Broken shower sometimes prisoners break the shower kit or hide their smuggled or stolen items in it Go to the suspicious shower kit and, and pick it up look around to find the court the cause of the broken shower handle. Take or confiscate the item from the suspect and put the shower handle back. All right, we'll try this out. Um, looking at the time here, I don't know if we need to. It looks like a bolt. Oops. All right, so it's been repaired. This is important here. So the shower is working again. But yeah, to get that respect increase, and now we're at fifty-one point four percent. I just want to go ahead and check the other shower. To see if we can fix it now. I don't know if this would still be an issue. I mean, it's it's red, so yeah. I don't know if it would still be an issue if we didn't fix it. But yeah, might as well. Is there anything else? Oh, we did not fix that yet. There we go. All right, now we can close it up. All right, excellent. So we fixed that shower as well, and that shower's not broken. But yeah, I don't know if we hadn't showered or hadn't fixed it. If when we did shower time next time, it would have still been uh, broken. Still haven't found that book. I don't know if there's any location. I guess there's the workshop. Still trying to find it, but yeah, I don't. I don't know where this guy's book is. We can look around here in the work the workshop. I feel like we've already looked enough though for what he's paying us. Yeah, I guess we'll look over here. Did like somebody steal his book or something? What is this? Sponge we can take. Well, it's not the book that we're looking for, so it's not a book. Period. Book in here. Um, some cigarettes in here. Isn't this like a contraband item? 
Apparently not. So we can walk around with cigarettes and that's not an issue. Okay. Oh wait, they gotta have that, that little eye on them, don't they? All right, so we'll, we'll find out if there's a problem with this. I'm not seeing any eyes sticking up though here. Uh, so this is the evening briefing. We're done for the day. Yep, everything is done here. Uh, we decreased riot risk by 2%. This is the lowest we've been with the 16% on the riot risk and the highest we've been with the prisoner respect. Again, those tie into each other. Uh, so 51% prisoner respect. We're doing pretty well overall. But yeah, I like that they've added some new mechanics. Again, either in a patch or just it's something that comes up later in the game to some of these things you've already done before. Make them a little bit more uh, complicated. Does it say anything about where it's, it's found? No. Or where it could be located, I mean. So we're back in the canteen, uh, and then free time, then the prison stroll, free time workshop. Okay. So no new activities, but perhaps we'll see new events in those old activities. And yeah, back into the canteen here. One of my most hated places. Now it is, it was interesting working in the kitchen, uh, you know, not on the floor, but you know, when I did my 30 days, as I had described in, in a previous episode, when I did my 30 days working in the back, it was really interesting, like seeing how the kitchen works. Cause I had been there for a long time by that point. We're well, not a long time, but I'd worked there for over a year. Uh, they don't put like new boots in the, in the kitchen. I think I'd been there about a year and a half or so, you know, at the prison. And so it was interesting, you know, having, having to work there for that long and and just seeing how the kitchen operates it was definitely very educational and just gave me an overall oh these are a lot of inmates what is going on everybody just got up oh everybody's dancing <laughs> what is going on um, saving our progress canceled due to random. Oh, okay. This is all tied to this disgusting lunch. There's a prisoner who's giving out terrible food and that's why they're doing this. But again, we just talked about how they had like these random events. Said, what do you want? Complaints only in writing. What do you serve for dinner today? Said, well, the usual, some goo, overcooked vegetables and some meat looking stuff. You haven't changed the recipe or maybe you served overly strong coffee. Says, listen, I only serve the food here. If you have a problem with the food, then go to the kitchen and talk to the chef. So we'll do that. Yeah, they're starting to have like different events for us to do here. That's interesting. After we've kind of uh, gotten used to the way these activities work. Uh, so apparently he's the chef. I'll ask him if he's in charge. Says, yeah, you got a problem. I mean something other than digestive disorders, because I don't care about hearing, hearing about those. Did you change any agreement, ingredients in today's food? He said, I hardly ever make any changes in my recipes. But who the hell knows what my good-for-nothing helpers are adding to the pots themselves, if you know what I mean. It's hard to keep an eye on them sometimes. I'm going to take a minute of their time if you don't mind. So it's fine, but not for too long. And like, they add, like, a drug or something to the food? Uh, who knows? Uh, but there really should be an officer back here. Especially, I mean, they're, they got knives and, and uh, all kinds of tools and stuff. Uh, but yeah, let's go and talk to him. Did you help prepare today's meal? Because, yeah, that's what they dragged me in here for. What did you do exactly? This guy's trying to pass us. Well, I mostly throw things in a pot, whatever the chef told the others to chop or peel, and all prepared spices. Okay, I need to check those out. Another thing that's not very accurate here is that the knives are just free to, to be moved around and used as, as they will and to be taken, because uh, the knives are actually, like, they're chained to the wall. Or, or chained to like, they'd be chained to this or something. Uh, so that they can't just be taken. Where are these spices we're supposed to be checking? Well, still said talk to the to the kitchen crew, so I guess we gotta finish talking to them. But yeah, they would they would tie all the all the knives down or chain them all down so you can't just you know, walk around with them or anything. Or steal them. I only clean here, peel potatoes and vegetables. Okay, so he's saying he didn't do anything. So it must have been this guy with the beard. He really should I mean, this is not the person you want working on your food. You have so much hair in your food. Uh, you should have like some type of hair nets or something. Uh, did you help prepare today's meal? He says, I only wash the dishes here. I don't touch food except for the leftovers in the trash bags, which I throw out. So it's nobody's fault, of course. Uh, so now we need to search the kitchen thoroughly. But yeah, you'll notice that everybody else has very short hair or are completely bald in here and none of them have facial hair, just that guy. He's just not fitting for the, the kitchen. So yeah, we'll just go and 
see what we can actually interact with. I went through here once before and I didn't see anything. But yeah, it might have just been because we hadn't uh, gotten to that point in the, the mission. I'm not really seeing anything to interact with here. Maybe in the back here? Yeah, still not seeing anything. Okay, so yeah, we haven't we haven't discovered any issue with today's meal. I mean, I haven't even discovered anything I can interact with. We can look down here. Wait a minute. Here we go. We got some leaves. What's this? All right, we need to talk to the cook about it. Okay, so it's not this guy. He is the chef, but we need to talk to Leo Gordon. Or no, this guy. He's got a damn thing over his head. Why are they saying that they don't cook when they clearly are cooking? Uh, so, what are these? Bay leaves, I think? They don't smell like it. Maybe the chef ordered cheaper ones. Why did you add so many of them to the pot? Well, a whole bag of them was right next to the other ingredients. Thought I was supposed to use the whole thing. You realize we cook for a really large group of people in here, right? So I'm confiscating these leaves. Why? Need to check them out. Uh, it's just a few leaves, so the chef won't be mad, I think. Anyway, I had nothing to do with this. Alright, so we'll talk to the chef about these leaves. These suspicious leaves here. So where did you get these leaves? He says, what leaves? The bay leaves. He says, what's next? Maybe I need to order some saffron too. We don't use any fancy spices like that. Only salt and pepper. And not all the time either. Herbs are wasted on this bunch. Then why did I find them in your kitchen? He said, I don't know. They're not mine for sure. I told you that my helpers are difficult to supervise and sometimes add something to the pot themselves. But why bay leaves? Alright, well I guess that's it. Uh, we can level up now. But yeah, I guess that was the, the issue. And I suppose we're just going to leave these inmates in here dancing. And not eating chow. Look at the other officers, they're just standing there. I mean, he's not even looking at him. He's got his back turned. He's like, I don't see anything. I don't see anything. Can't get in trouble if I didn't see it. That's not true at all, though. Uh, so... I'm continuing to, to kind of really focus on increasing skills, I suppose. We'll see if he's got this task. He does not. I'm trying to get our skills up higher, I guess. We could do another fight. Why not? Let's do another fight. They're easy and quick. I don't know that we get paid for them. I don't recall getting paid. I think we're just fighting inmates. Uh, but you can see that our current defense is up by two points right now. Speed is up by four. Yeah, let's get started. He's excited about this. We're going to be fighting two inmates. <laughs> I don't know how well blocking helps, but... Oh, this guy takes a lot of hits, doesn't he? Gained plus four in defense because we defeated two inmates, I suppose. Alright, excellent. Uh, so... We're now on the prison stroll, which we're already out here. Alright, so that worked out well. Then we'll just kind of... Do our patrols and see if we can't catch inmates doing things. This is a good way to get that inmate respect up, you know, because we can allow them to stay on the rec yard longer. But we typically lose prison guard respect, which isn't a big issue or anything. But, yeah, we, we often do lose the guard respect because we just miss so much. It's a huge rec yard. There's a lot to miss. And sometimes I'm not sure that there's, there's things that maybe I'm supposed to be doing something about and I, I'm not aware of it. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything yet. Something going on over here, but it's probably not an issue. I mean, I, I know it had said something about them uh, getting together. You know, it was a long time ago they explained what we were supposed to be doing for this, but yeah, they could be doing something that I'm supposed to talk to them about and I'm just not aware of. And so far, I'm not seeing anything, you know, against the rules, the legal. Because I'm out here. Everybody's complying. I do expect to see a fire or a fight, though, at some point, especially I just talk smack. And I'll be trying to get out. This guy's walking around looking at us suspicious. Felt like he was trying to come up behind us. Uh, we got somebody pissing. That's Jim Larson. You got a piss right here? Says, yeah, you have a problem against that? Or er, a problem with that? It's against the facility rules. Oh, and I, I can never tell when they're going to assault us or not. 
I just got an achievement for knock out them all. Is this for knocking out, like, is that for knocking out every inmate in the prison once or something? I'd be interested to see what that, that achievement was for. Yeah, I haven't found anything else, guys. Uh, that was the only issue, that one guy pissing on the wall so far, and we're almost done. I'll probably just cut all that out. We're almost done with the extra time. Uh, that achievement could also have been gotten from just knocking out a certain number of inmates. Yeah, this was like an easy, very easy uh, wreck time, man. Just everybody, they're, they're acting good. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Or at least, uh, we're not catching them doing anything. Uh, just a couple seconds left here. And we'll get a good little chunk of respect. And uh, we also didn't lose respect with the prison guards because they really just didn't do anything. They didn't do anything that they weren't supposed to do. Uh, we're going to do the package again to increase the max speed. Whenever that's available, we'll probably do that. Uh, yeah, we'll be getting the, the speed up to the same level of stamina now. Defense is at level 3. Yes. Alright, so we have a lot less time than you'd expect for three packages. But yeah, we have three packages. One is on the wreck yard. I think no. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. I went the wrong way, guys. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, now, we have finished these before with excess time. But I don't think that'll be the case this time, guys. I think we're going to run out of time here. So let's hurry up and get them this package. Yeah, we're out of stamina as well, so that's bad. We got one minute left to get two packages. That's about how much time I guess you get for two packages, so we can get it done. Oops, not if I go the wrong way. Alright, so we're out of stamina again. Here's one of the packages. And the other one's not very far away. So yeah, we should be fine. Alright, excellent. So we got lucky these two were close together and we didn't have to go all the way across the prison. And we increased our speed. All right, so now we need to go get the prisoners from the sublock to take them to the workshop. I'll be interested to see if there's any other different events with the workshops, because this one's also been been an event that we've kind of gotten used to. Everything that could possibly happen. Uh, I think it's the time for the wolves to go. We restart the rotation here, guys. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and bring the wolves with us. Uh, he's not in a gang. What is he in here for? Oh yes, I remember him. All right, so we bring in Praetorian. Uh, the wolves do have five members. It seems to be only the lions that don't. I wonder if they ever like change the gangs that they're in, or if uh, like new prisoners will join a gang eventually. You would think so. We haven't seen any of that yet, though. All the the new prisoners aren't in gangs. So it makes me wonder. Like, will gangs eventually just disappear? As uh, the people who started in the prison die or get released. And then I'm wondering if we're going to have enough wolves. I think we should still be okay, but I don't know if any of the wolves like uh, left or died. Unless the last prisoner is one, we're going to have to bring somebody who's not a wolf. Yeah, that's a shame. So actually, rather than avoid any trouble, we're just going to bring these, these four guys. I think it's better to... And follow me. I keep forgetting I have the whistle here, the final warning. We need to use that. That final warning. More often. And uh, maybe we can avoid having to beat people up. I keep forgetting we have it though. And the few times we have used it, the inmates didn't even comply. But yeah, we need to try using it if we have another fight over here. Or just an inmate doing something they're not supposed to. Alright, so everybody get in here. I don't know why they... It looks like they're just going so fast they can't stop themselves. <laughs> I'm not trying to leave, man. Alright, so we actually don't need four tools. So we won't give out the most dangerous of the weapons, the knife. And I don't really think it matters who we give this to. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. Give him the hammer. Yeah, we shouldn't have any issues unless they have a an officer they don't like that's in here. Which doesn't seem to be the case. It seems they all have uh, inmates they don't like. Yeah, it's all inmates. So we shouldn't have any issues outside of perhaps an inmate not working or the inmates uh, getting injured. That's a possibility as well. Oh, yep, here's one now. <laughs> the way they fall, though. It's like that's so embarrassing. So we're likely not going to make 
as much money now since we've already lost one inmate from the injury and then of course we we brought one less inmate and then you got praetorian sitting over here not working he seems like it never works when he's in here all right so it looks like he's gonna go back to work we're able to just talk him into it I'm not used to not having anybody back there so yeah it should be a fairly easy time it looks like the few inmates that we have they're not working all right we'll, we'll let them sit here to get the respect it's always helpful to get the more respect he's at 57.16% on the respect he's at 56.67% uh, Praetorian on the other hand is 50.39 so a bit lower than the other ones because he's been in trouble several times in the past and another inmate is injured good god so it seems like when they can't fight they're more likely to get injured like that's the only possibility is they either fight with each other or they get injured so I assume we're not gonna make hardly any money Oh yeah, what are you doing? Just trying to start a fire? Yeah, go back over here. Starting a fire for no reason. There's not even thing he wanted to do. Good God. So yeah, you can see we're not gonna make very much money uh, because of all the injured inmates and uh, just having the one less in general. And then I, again, I don't know if this guy not doing anything costs or something, but yeah, we'll make a lot less money. I don't even know if we want to keep him in here for longer. I feel like it's, it's it might not even be worth our time. It's probably only make like 15 bucks. I, if I had to guess, maybe not even that. Yeah, let's just get him out of here. This is not even worth the time. Uh, so let's go ahead and rally him and say we're done. Yeah, there's just no point when you have so few inmates, uh, inmates in here. So we're just not gonna make much extra money. We did lose some prison guard respect. Not sure how that happened. Uh, let's go and get these tools from him. And yeah, we walked out with four inmates and we're walking back with two. There we go, beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead and pat search these guys and get them out of here before they hurt themselves. Of course, Praetorian has some contraband. As does this guy, he's got a drill bit. Uh, no, I'm not doing this. All right, so let's go ahead and have them follow us and get them out of here. Watch them trip and fall and bust their face open. <laughs> have another inmate injured. Probably shouldn't sprint through these holes. And I don't know if we'll have time. We might have time for one or two more tasks. We'll see. Let's get these guys in here first. Uh, we never did find the book. I wonder if it could be in an inmate cell. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're going to get it completed. I mean, we can kind of sweep through real quick and just kind of like see if there's any books lying around anywhere. I mean, you'd think they would, if they stole it, they'd have it hidden somewhere. But, yeah, maybe you'd find it in a cell search or something. Uh, we actually have a um, story mission event to talk to David Johnson. That was him over there. So maybe he knows something. We'll just check these last few cells for the book. I'm not seeing anything though, guys. So yeah, let's go ahead and, and talk to David Johnson while we're in here. All right, so this is David Johnson here. So let's go ahead and talk to him. And we're gonna ask him for a favor. Okay. Boss got a favor to ask of an inmate. Well, that's interesting. He said, I'm listening. I know that you're here because you used to sell drugs. He said, go on. Can you tell me what these leaves are? Oh, okay, so this has something to do with the leaves, and so that means that the leaves are actually tied to the story mission. Okay. I said, bring them here. I said, damn, this is coca. Coca leaves. How did you get them? Did you confiscate them from someone? I said, coca, you say? That's all I need to know, thanks. He said, oh, wait, didn't you think to, you know, to sell them? You can't get high with plain leaves, but they work better than any coffee. I can pay you well, I think. $75 sounds good. Uh, their evidence, I can't sell them. He said, well, shimming you, I can't pay that much for them now, but I can't guarantee the price later on. And that's, doesn't seem like a very fair price. I don't know. I mean, if you're offering a hundred bucks for cookies, seems like the cocoa leaves should be worth more than $75, but I don't know. Uh, so next we need to talk to Jason Gordon. You know what, he might be in here as well. He's an inmate. Now what we're being directed to is the evening briefing, but let's see if Jason Gordon is in here at all, and then we'll do the even, evening briefing. 
I mean, I don't know where else he'd be. I mean, there could be inmates anywhere, actually. I guess he could be in, like, Death Row or... And one of the other cell blocks. You don't typically interact with them. But, yeah, I don't recognize a Gordon. Yeah, there's no Gordon in here. But, yeah, it's definitely an inmate. I guess you can kind of look in here for inmates. You know, it says their names up there, so... There's Joseph Goldberg. Yeah, they might be in here. James Williams. Ricky Robinson. Yeah, the only thing I can think of... Huh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. It's got to be on, like, um... Or, you know, he could be in here. There's a possibility. That's Paul Smith. Is that this guy? Yep. I'll put it to you straight. Tell me the truth or you'll spend the rest of the month in solitary on bread and water. After you get back from the hospital. I said, okay, fine, I'll tell you. I bought those leaves. I knew they were coca leaves. I put them in the main pot just for fun. I wanted to see how people would react after dinner. So who did you get them from? From Mario Griffin. A guard. We've seen that guy. I think he works in the, in the uh, workshop often. Are you trying to frame my colleague? says, I'm telling the truth, I swear. I swear by my grandma's grave. Okay, so let's say I believe you. Maybe Mario Griffin has something to do with those packages in the morgue. He said, what was that? I couldn't hear you. Nothing. You're free to go and tell no one about the coca leaves or about our little talk. Look at us. A little detective. So, now we need to go back to David Johnson, but we're not going to do that right now. We'll do it when we're on the cell block again. Let's just go ahead and complete the evening briefing. And this will be the last thing we do in this episode. We'll see what the next day looks like. Uh, so, prisoner respect went up by 2%. Right risk down by 1%. I thought we were already at 16%, though. Uh, earned a little bit of money for ourselves in the prison. Alright, so we'll take a look at what the tasks are for the next day here. Uh, prison induction, application processing, monitoring shift, and the shower time again. So again, nothing new here, but could be some new... Uh, activities within those activities. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys on the next one, and thanks for watching.